Hello, this is uh, Jason Adams, Certified Health Coach, and we are doing another Hope for Health interview tonight. I just like to do these interviews for people that have had a, an amazing transformation in their health. And uh, tonight we have Crystal Partlow, which she has had an amazing transformation. I'm going to share her picture real quick so you can see her before and after. So there she is, 95 pounds. Um, I know there are some medical issues that cleared up, which we'll talk about in just a minute. Um, but first of all, wow, that's amazing. Thank Doesn't you. even look like you, the before photo. Um, so I'll stop share. And we're just going to let you kind of tell, tell us about your story. Uh, first, just tell us how you were feeling uh, before you decided to get healthy. And what did that look like? What did your life look like then? All right. Um, let's see. Before. So before March 17th, um, I was... Uh, definitely overweight, but I was okay with it. I was like, this was me. And um, I just figured this was who I was now. And uh, I was good with it. Um, and I had some issues with my blood pressure. I had to go to my doctor um, and get on blood pressure meds about two years ago. And um, I just figured it was work. Uh, I took a new position. I was now in charge and I was like, I'm more stressed. So it's work that's causing my blood pressure to go up, whatever, I'll just take meds. Um, cholesterol runs in my family, so I just assumed my high cholesterol was part of my family, so took meds for that too, and just figured I could handle the meds. Um, and then last summer, um, I actually had to go see a cardiologist because I started having racing heart issues. So I thought, oh, this is just again part of the stress of my new job. And um, it was all kind of just part of growing old. I thought, I'm just getting old, getting closer to 40 than 30. And thought this was just part of it, um, along with all the stress, you know, from work. So you were, how old were you when that started happening? Were you 34, 33? Um, I was 30, 33, I think, when I had to go on the blood pressure meds for the first time. So I'd been on those for almost three years when we started. Right. The yep. So you're 33 and you thought it was okay to be on blood pressure meds. Yep. <laughs> Just and everybody just, out there, it's not, it's not okay. <laughs> not okay. So not okay. I just assumed it was, you know, my stressful job. I work at a hospital. It's pretty high stress. And I was now in charge of a whole department. So I thought, oh, this is just part of it. Okay. And, uh, and I know your story, but um, when you decided to make a change, now yours is a little bit different than others. Uh, and I won't steal your thunder at all, but because um, a lot of people just kind of hit rock bottom you hadn't really hit it like a rock bottom yet. So kind of, you know, just tell us about that a little bit. Yeah, I probably should have been at a rock bottom being on all those meds and only 35 years old at the time. Um, you know, I definitely should have been at rock bottom, but I just, like I said, I thought it was just the way it was. Um, and then my husband came home and said, you know, Hey, I think we need to try something different this time. And I found a different program and I was like, okay, we'll try it. And um, I really just did it to be supportive. I was the support of wife he wanted to do it and I thought eh what's one more try sure I'll give it a month and uh, when it doesn't work like everything else <laughs> I'll uh, I'll be good and we'll just go on to the next thing um, and that was March 17th and uh, I have not looked back since it was a uh, I think I was probably about six weeks in um, when about yeah about six weeks in when I realized that I actually wanted this, that I was actually seeing the changes. I was, I called my doctor, I was able to go off my blood pressure medications already. And she was like, you know, whatever you're doing, keep doing it. And I was like, yeah, I can keep doing this. I want to keep doing this. I actually like how I feel now. That's awesome. And, and so it was like, really just a, like a mental switch. I mean, it was just all of a sudden you're like, Wow. I mean, did you all of a sudden feel like, wow, I didn't realize how bad I was? Definitely. Or it was more like, you're like, oh, I just feel better now. No, it was definitely like, I didn't realize how bad it was. I can look back now and um, Carson, my husband works weekend shifts and he would leave for work at two o'clock on Saturdays and Sundays to head to work for the afternoon, you know, for the night. 
And it was immediately, nope, nap time. I'd fall asleep on the couch sometimes for two, three hours, even though I had probably slept till like nine the next, the morning before. Um, it didn't matter. I was always tired. And my poor kid was, you know, sitting playing video games or, you know, watching YouTube videos or something horrible. And I was just like, wait a minute, I did all that because I was unhealthy. And when I started feeling better and having the energy, now I, I want to go shoot hoops in the you know, backyard with him and go on walks and, and do all this stuff that I did not have the energy for. And uh, it was probably uh, about three or four weeks in that I was like, wait, I'm doing stuff I've, I haven't done in years and didn't even realize that I wasn't even doing anymore. Well, it's funny because, you know, you're saying you're taking a nap and you're, you know, feeling run down because that's how I felt. I would just come home from work and I would just like flop on the couch and, you know, it's just like, oh, that's the way it was. I just worked nine or 10 hours. That's just the way it is. But really, yep. you know, it doesn't have to be that way. No. And it's awesome, though, because, again, you know, you don't know who's counting on you to be healthy. Um, just like your son was yeah. counting on you to go play hoops with him and go for a walk with him. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's it's he, every time, you know, I, I, you know, say yes to him now that we can go do something. He still looks at me like, really, Mom, you're not going to take a nap? And I'm like, no, I'm good. Really? <laughs> we yeah. can I'm really sorry for like the last five years. <laughs> really sorry. Uh, now, did you have any um, bumps in the road? Anything that you struggled with? Um, I yeah. I mean, I think for me, it was it was definitely a mental game. Um, I am an emotional eater. I will say exactly. You know, that was me. I, I ate whether I was happy or sad or stressed or whatever. I turned to food no matter what. Um, and so that was definitely a hurdle I had to overcome. Um, and really it was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be for me. Um, I thought I would really struggle with that, but I think I enjoyed so much how good I felt. It was just like, no, I don't ever want to go back to the taking a nap in the middle of the afternoon every single weekend and crashing after work and not having the energy to play with my kid and being on all this medication at 35 years old, there was no way I was going back to that. So I said, got, got it right in the head this time. Yeah. Well, it's funny how that switches. Um, well, you know, food just becomes less important and more what it's supposed to be, which is just fuel, yep. which I know, you know, we all still love a good treat, you know, whatever our food is, but um, it doesn't control us, you know, once you get a handle on that. And so, okay, so now that you do have a handle on that, what does life look like 95 pounds later, off medication? What are you excited about? Honestly, it's, it's, there's so many things. I have so much more confidence in myself. Um, and, you know, with my husband doing this with me, I mean, it's, we have a whole new marriage to explore. I mean, there's just things in the, the two of us have forgotten about in the last 15 years of just, you know, the getting by. Um, so it's, that's really exciting. Um, and you know, getting out and doing things with, with my son, you know, we just signed up for three, uh, 5k races that are Harry Potter races, um, that he really wants to do cause he's reading Harry Potter now. So we get to go do these 5ks together. And that's something I never would have thought of eight months ago. Never. It's awesome. Love it. That's so great. All right. Well, if, uh, if you have anything to say to anybody out there that is either on their journey or thinking about starting a journey, uh, just, I don't know, a couple words of encouragement for them. I would just say, go for it. Give it a month because if that's all it's going to take is to, and to, um, uh, it's so hard because it's free. I wasn't, I wasn't in the mindset. I didn't think I had any willpower to do it. I couldn't stick to something. There was no way I was going to do it. But as soon as I started feeling good again and realizing that the food was what was making me feel good, that it just, it didn't matter anymore. The, the birthday cake will come and go. Um, and the treats will still be there. The Halloween candy will be there next year. The pumpkin pie will be there next year. And now I know I can go have a bite of it and I'm good with a bite. I don't need the whole pie anymore. And that is what is so huge. Um, I, I don't let food control me anymore. So just let, let the journey work and, uh, and then you'll be in this spot soon. Awesome. Awesome. 
Well, Crystal, thank you. Uh, if anybody wants to send Crystal a message, uh, she's on Facebook, Crystal Partlow. She'd love to, you know, support you in your journey. Um, if you want to email me at all, I would love to hear more stories of transformation out there. I love doing these interviews with people. Um, so if you have a story to share or you need some support, you can email me at gainoptimalhealth at gmail.com. Um, everybody have a good night, and we'll talk to you later. Thanks, Crystal. Thanks, Jason.